having said that, I completely agree with you. I don't think you should inherit these rights, and I think the system needs updating. Thank you, anonymous. Says that person who wants to remain anonymous. Yeah, I know. I, I had some friends who lived in. Uh, I still have those friends. I always have had. Um, we used to stay in their cottage. They lived on the Holcomb Estate, North Norfolk, which is a huge, huge patch, which is owned by I think he's the is he the Earl or the Duke of Leicester, even though he's in Norfolk, and his their their surname is is Cook, but it's spelled Coke. You pronounce it Cook for some some strange reason. And um, it was it was well known. They they do incredible things in the community. They have a fair every year and all the rest of it. But should Tom, because of the fact that his father was the Earl of Leicester, should he necessarily be in the House of Lords making decisions for the rest of us? I'm sure if you asked him, he'd probably say no. I don't know if he. I don't even know if he is in the House of Lords. But I just think I don't know. I, I just want some. Okay. 
a safer, more hygienic way to share an open plan office. They're quick to install with minimal disruption, suitable for nearly every office environment, and now with finance options available. Theglassofficepeople.co.uk, creating safer new spaces in places. This is LBC with Ian Payne. So we're all talking about the House of Lords with specific reference to the 80, how many are there? 85 hereditary peers. These are the people who are lords, dukes, earls and barons purely because they inherited the title, no other reason. Yeah, I mean the chamber is 800 strong, it's too big um, and you can't fit them all in can you? <laughs> you have to book to go in and a lot of them don't speak very much. So I'm asking whether or not we need to reform them. I think the general answer seems to be yes for everybody. But what, what do we replace it with? Or do we replace it? Or do we just remove it? My, as I said before, my personal opinion is you have to reform it. And the sort of people that need to be chosen to be in the House of Lords or elected uh, need to be, you know, the intellectual side of Britain who represent all different walks of life. Someone said this, um, the Irish upper house is a good model with representatives from different walks of life. Um, I've looked up this, the Irish uh, upper house, and I have to say that it sounds very like the House of Lords to me with a lot of politicos in it. Um, I'm not ruling out having politicians in it. I think so, there are some politicians who would definitely merit with their life experience and their experience of running a country. Someone's saying here, based on your criteria, would people like Ken Clark be in or out? I would say definitely in. To be honest, I mean, there's a man who who knows how the country is run, who's had extreme experience of meeting people from from all walks of life. Who, when he says something, you generally sort of nod your head and think, yeah, you know, that's not that's not a bad idea, basically. Um, who else? Uh, hello, SNP members that will be this. Uh, uh, not sure about that one. Let's go to Montpellier. Um, en France. Let's speak to Rachel. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Very well indeed, thank you. What do you think of this? What do they have in France? To be honest, I haven't been here long enough to really have an opinion Sorry, about I, France, but yeah. I certainly have an opinion about Britain. Go on then. Um, I agree with you totally that there needs to be reform. Um, but listening to previous conversations and particularly your discussion about what would be a good alternative, mm. you were talking about putting people in place you know, who could speak with an expert view on things like education, Wisdom. health, etc. Yeah. Yeah. And whilst I don't disagree with that at all, I do think that perhaps you forgot something. Um, and I would suggest that we should be looking at social groups because it's not just about people who make the legislation, it's about the people who are affected by the legislation. Well, so have a chamber of 67 million people. <laughs> Life experience or how qualified he is to make this statement. 